nature versus nurture, the constant debate in biology, psychology, and more. What makes us us? Who will win? But wait, introducing epigenetics. Epigenetics, first discovered in the 1940s, is the study of how environmental and behavioral factors change the genome, the complete set of DNA in a cell. Meaning on top of and in addition to genetics, epigenetics can determine if a protein is produced or if a gene is turned on or off. Think of a runner. When this runner gets sick, the virus stops their ability to perform, even though all of their foundation, training and nutrition, hasn't changed. In epigenetics, outside factors influence the way the gene is expressed, the runner's performance, without changing the nucleotide sequence, therefore different than a mutation. There are three different epigenetic regulation classifications, histone modification involving adding groups to histone tails, DNA methylation involving methyl groups, and microRNA involving non-coding RNA. DNA methylation is when a methyl group is added at the fifth carbon of the cytosine ring. Methyl groups are transferred from S adenosyl methanonin due to enzymes or DNMTs that catalyze the methylation process. Most gene promoters have CPG islands or regions of the DNA with cytosine, phosphate, and guanine. These allow for gene expression regulation. When CPG islands are methylated, this allows for gene silencing. Enzymes can then methylate the daughter strand after DNA replication, so methylation can be inherited. Whoa, you can silence genes without changing the nucleotide sequence of DNA, thereby changing expression? I know, right? It's genius. Additionally, research has shown that exposure to certain environmental factors, such as metals or pollutants, can be associated with producing changes with methylation, inducing methylation, and more. So who wins, nature or nurture? Well, epigenetics teaches us that it is both that influence the expression of our genome. The ability of epigenetics to play a role with histones, DNA, and microRNA demonstrates how our genome is not fixed but can be modified. Our chemical and environmental processes trigger epigenetic factors that can even be inherited. This all happens without changing the nucleotide sequence of DNA. It's epigenetics.